You've probably heard that push-ups are one of the best exercises for building upper body strength. But if you're still not seeing the muscle growth you expected, there's something missing. A crucial part of the routine that most people overlook. What if I told you there's a push-up strategy that no one is talking about? And it could be the key to unlocking real muscle growth, especially as you get older. In this video, we're going to explore the science behind push-ups in a way you haven't heard before. It's not about how many you can crank out, it's about using the right approach to maximize muscle development and avoid common mistakes. Stay with us until the end, because we'll break down a push-up routine that's designed to help you see real results, whether you're just starting or looking to push past a plateau. Let's start by clearing up a common misconception. Performing push-ups every single day without rest isn't necessarily the best approach for muscle growth. Push-ups are a resistance exercise that cause tiny micro-tears in your muscle fibers, which need time to repair. If you don't allow proper recovery, you're not just risking muscle fatigue. You could be setting yourself up for overtraining syndrome. Overtraining can lead to chronic soreness, loss of motivation, poor sleep, and even a weakened immune system. It's not just about your muscles. Your overall health could take a hit. When you rest, your body works behind the scenes to repair those micro-tears. This is when muscular hypertrophy occurs, thickening your existing muscle fibers rather than creating new ones. While you're resting or sleeping, your body boosts growth hormone levels and increases protein synthesis, effectively repairing and strengthening your muscles. Research shows that sleep quality plays a vital role in muscle recovery. Getting a solid seven to nine hours of sleep every night is crucial, especially after intense push-up sessions. So if you're cutting corners on rest, you might be cutting your gains short. Push-ups are an incredibly effective full-body exercise because they target several muscle groups at once. Your chest, pectorals, arms, triceps, shoulders, deltoids, and even your core. By lowering yourself during the eccentric phase and pushing back up in the concentric phase, you're creating resistance that challenges your muscles in a unique way. But did you know the tempo of your push-up can also affect muscle growth? Slow, controlled push-ups are far more effective for muscle hypertrophy than rapid reps. By slowing down the lowering phase, eccentric, and slightly pausing at the bottom, you increase time under tension, which has been shown to boost muscle activation and growth. You might think the more push-ups you do, the better, right? Wrong. Muscle building isn't about constant repetition. It's about giving your muscles time to heal and grow. After an intense push-up session, your body needs to rest to trigger the muscle-building process through muscle protein synthesis. This is your body's way of converting the protein you consume into new muscle tissue. If you're doing push-ups every day without allowing your muscles to recover, you're in a constant cycle of damage without the time for growth. In simple terms, you're limiting your progress. Studies have shown that rest days between training sessions are essential for long-term strength gains and injury prevention. Here's something many people overlook. Progressive overload. If you want to see continued muscle growth, you need to gradually increase the difficulty of your push-up workouts over time. This can be done by increasing the number of reps, sets, or by incorporating more advanced push-up variations. For instance, once you can comfortably do standard push-ups, switch to decline push-ups, or add a weight vest to increase the load. This constant progression challenges your muscles in new ways, preventing them from adapting and plateauing. The number of push-ups you should aim for depends largely on your fitness level and goals. For beginners, start with a manageable number. For example, if your max is 10 push-ups, aim for 7 to 8 per set. Perform three to four sets of six to ten push-ups and gradually work your way up. You can also do knee push-ups or incline push-ups to build strength without overloading your muscles. For those comfortable with push-ups, aim for three to four sets of 15 to 25 push-ups. Throw in an AMRAP, as many reps as possible, set to push your limits occasionally. This will keep your muscles challenged and growing. 
For advanced and push-up pros, try explosive push-ups, one-arm push-ups, or weighted push-ups. Push your muscles to new heights with three to four sets of 20 to 30 push-ups and incorporate some advanced variations for an extra challenge. While consistency is important for building strength and muscle mass, there's another critical factor that deserves attention, recovery time and training variation. It's essential to incorporate planned rest days into your routine, allowing your muscles to repair and grow stronger. Without sufficient recovery, you risk hitting a plateau or, even worse, suffering from overuse injuries. Varying your push-up workouts is equally important, as it helps stimulate different muscle fibers and prevents your body from adapting to a single repetitive movement. This variation might involve changing the type of push-up you do or even adjusting your hand positioning to target different areas of the upper body. Another aspect that often gets overlooked in push-up routines is joint health and mobility. Performing push-ups with improper form or neglecting joint care can lead to shoulder or wrist injuries over time. To avoid this, focus on maintaining proper form throughout your sets and incorporate mobility work into your overall fitness regimen. Stretching, foam rolling, and mobility exercises for the shoulders, wrists, and chest can help keep your joints healthy, ensuring you can continue to push yourself without the risk of injury. Prioritizing these elements will not only enhance your push-up performance, but also contribute to long-term gains and overall functional strength. Volume and frequency are crucial for muscle growth, but so is balancing intensity and recovery. If your goal is to build muscle, aim for three to five sets per workout, making sure to leave a few reps in the tank to avoid burnout. Also, don't rely solely on push-ups for muscle growth. Incorporate other exercises like bench presses, dumbbell flies, and shoulder presses to target similar muscle groups from different angles. Your push-ups should complement your overall workout plan, not dominate it. No matter how hard you train, you won't see results without proper nutrition. Your muscles need fuel, and that means consuming enough calories and protein to support growth. Aim for 1 to 2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight daily. This ensures your body has the building blocks it needs to repair and grow stronger after each workout. Also, be sure to consume complex carbohydrates before your workouts to fuel your muscles and incorporate healthy fats and plenty of water for optimal recovery. Here are some frequently asked questions. 1. Is it okay to do push-ups every day? While you can do push-ups every day, it's not ideal for muscle growth. Your muscles need time to recover. Aim for two to three push-up sessions per week with rest days in between. 2. Can push-ups increase chest size? Yes, push-ups are excellent for building the chest muscles. When combined with proper nutrition and rest, they can significantly enhance your chest size and shape. 3. When's the best time to do push-ups? This varies based on individual preferences. However, doing push-ups one to two hours after a carb-rich meal can provide the energy boost needed for peak performance. Can push-ups improve core strength? Absolutely. Push-ups not only target your upper body but also engage your core muscles, improving stability and strength. Now that you understand how push-ups work and the importance of balancing them with rest and progression, let's revisit the question. What if I told you there's a push-up strategy that no one is talking about? The secret lies in tempo manipulation and unconventional variations. Most people perform push-ups at a standard pace, but altering the tempo by slowing down the eccentric, lowering phase and incorporating pauses can dramatically enhance muscle activation and growth. Additionally, Introducing less common push-up variations, such as explosive push-ups or one-arm push-ups, challenges your muscles in novel ways, preventing adaptation and pushing your progress further. This strategy, though not widely discussed, can be a game-changer in achieving real muscle growth. Let us know your current push-up record in the comments below and check back in a month after trying out our program. Sharing your experiences makes for an exciting read. Also, don't forget to explore more videos on my channel. Links are right on the screen.
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to share it, hit the like button, and subscribe. Catch you soon.